Gila Gila, you are welcome to the space with me. I thank you very much for joining me. I am Lord Dandy, and this is your Lionese Tarot Tracks Pool. Choo Choo. I hope you are well. I'm well. Thank you very much for asking. I said it's anti-biotic, it's not anti-biotic, it's a, what do you call it, it's a antiseptic, antiseptic. If this is your first time here, I thank you for joining me. Remember that this is an adult entertaining channel and it's important that you use your discernment with the cards. If it doesn't sound like your situation or your personal situation then don't use it but i'm sure there'll be something here for anyone oh the queen of pentacles divine feminine energy virgo taurus and capricorn and the tower Wow, catastrophe, accident, things happen very, very fast. Lightning speed. Welcome to the Choo Choo. All aboard. to look in the description below for your angel number for the day number or two numbers mm -hmm. wow six of huh six of pentacles and the ten of ones six of pentacles is maybe a raise in salary and um definitely more money coming in which also means giving and receiving you receive to give and you give to receive yeah and it's been a heavy load you're walking all the way up the hill to the house up there and you can you're actually hiding behind your work it looks like it um, you've been weighed down by all the problems in your life and it's very very heavy And secrets will be revealed. This is revelation time. Good or bad secrets will come out. Um, Jabez and Boaz on either side. The dark and the light will come. High Priestess. The most powerful card in the deck. And death. Wow, more death. This is death. Somebody kill somebody, you know, assassination maybe. You're lying there on the floor all alone. It's the end of a situation, it's the end of a relationship. This is just how it happens in life. But you do get up again. Well, we get up again. Maybe the person who's dead doesn't. Or maybe you're lying on the operating table with all the pipes and the tubes inside of you. Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords. <coughs> the good, the bad, and the ugly. Brook Tower Moments, baby. Wants to come out. No, 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 no. No, Three of Swords, Broken Heart. Oh my word, where is this going? Fights all around you. Five of swords and well, at least 
<laughs> the two of wands, expanding your horizons, uh, doing more research, expanding your knowledge, um, looking at more you can succeed at. Maybe movement towards water after this death. End of something. Are you going to stop smoking? <laughs> Please stop smoking. Oh my word. The Nine of Swords and the Queen of Ones is the Queen of Ones being up all night worrying about it. bullshit. Well, the Seven of the Nine of Swords is tears of frustration, tears and frustration worries and you need to get basically let go of your emotions because you know that with the divine feminine energy of the queen of wands she is loving she's positive she's fiery she's ruled by fire signs leo uh, sagittarius and aries and she gives you protection no harm will come to you So you're hanging on to what you've got. Um, sometimes it's very good. You see, he's got a crown on his head. He's, he's the king. He's, he's, he's in charge of his finances and he's hanging on. He's not spending his money. Um, this is the, the card of the miser, the hoarder. But that also means that money is improving. Money improvement. More coming your way. It says the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is ruled by air, words, and agreements, and uh, very cold and abrasive. A divine feminine energy of the air. So that's Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Um, Wow. She's very demanding, very authoritative. Be careful not to be too much like her. She's very abusive <laughs> with her tongue. Very cutting, very sharp indeed. Wow, and she, yeah, it came out. So the hangman, you're seeing things from a different point of view. You see things more illuminated, even though uh, everybody hung you out to dry underneath a bridge or on a tree somewhere, upside down. This has given you time to uh, see things from a different angle. Uh, you get enlightenment. You gain more strength. Lots of deliberating. You're deliberating yourself. You find out more about yourself. There's this tower moment. This is an international, a national, local thing. It could be a cancellation of a date or an appointment too. It's out of your hands. It happens very fast. There's nothing you can do about it. It could be an accident. It could also mean the establishment is coming down. This is the establishment is coming down. And that makes you feel nostalgic worry about the past, uh, things that you didn't like, uh, if, if this happened, if that happened, it could have been better. Well, if is a very small word with a very big meaning. Crying over spilt milk, yes, and the devil. The devil is about business. The devil is ruled by Capricorn and Saturn. Uh, he says this is how it goes. What possesses you, what you possess, your possessions, what agreements you have that hold you back that you have to pay all the time to, whether it be 
uh, family, whether it be business, whether it be uh, loan agreements. Um, these are the things that hold us down in life um, and uh, hold us back. Are you able to break these chains? It also could be jealousy in a relationship and uh, trouble. Could also be addictions and temptations. The five of ones, there's arguments all around, battles all around, people fighting with you. Uh, okay, so this, if that's the business, these are the people calling you for the money, honey. <laughs> and you're fighting them. Say, I did pay you. I did pay you. Where's the proof? Here's the proof. I got away with it. I'm very good with writing letters. Yes. Swords is about words, is about communication and uh, lies, um, projections, uh, battles, fights, and someone got away with it. There's even thievery and theft, you know. The devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Yes, that's very true. <coughs> A divine uh, king energy, divine masculine energy. It could be a person coming into your life. It could be you. Um, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius energy, cold, abrasive uh, and demanding respect about <laughs> this uh, spying, these lies. Um, it's still feeble, it's a page of, of swords, but it's definitely um, about battles and jealousy and this keep, make, keeps you looking over your shoulder. Too many cards, let's go for it. Nine of Cups, so you, you're winning. You're winning the battle. You're winning the battle. You definitely win the battle. Or you're drinking a lot. You're drinking a hell of a lot. And there's the devil above it. So maybe this is your addiction. addiction. But there's definitely improvements underway. So you're going to the pub. And then there's more battles. But you do win. This uh, Five of Swords... Um, you have some losses, but you do, uh, you are on top of the situation. The King of Pentacles is a Virgo, uh, uh, Taurus and Capricorn. It's divine male energy, uh, very good with business, uh, giving money, receiving money, um, anything to do with earthly matters um, and business work could be a little bit too arrogant there and the last five all these fives eight of pentacles your work is going to be paid for and the eight of wands right next to it eight eight this is lion's gate lion's gate is going to start on the 27th of july arrows of love arrows of work arrows of what you love to do is your passion Appointments, yes, and visitors. You will receive a visitor, and this will bring you a message to share about how making more money because you really care. The Two of Cups is about relationships and joining of two people coming together, uh, two different types of people. It also speaks of health and balance and uh, your lungs, your kidneys, uh, your arms, your legs. It's all working in harmony as this two union can be, as a union should be. And uh, second lastly, where we have started with the nine of swords, the nine of wands, you still haven't won this trip, baby. This is a very tough trip indeed, with the devil inside. Things are undecided and you need to step out of the situation to see things more clearly. And lastly, it's time for you to start 
on a new voyage, a brand new and interesting thing to do. It takes faith to get what you want, believing in things that cannot be seen. And that's what this guy does. He starts all over again. Okay, we did a whole long pool there. Nearly every single card on the deck. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything from Lionies. Tarotax pool. Remember, this is a timeless pool, so it depends. It doesn't matter when you pull onto it. There'll be something here for you. The seven of hearts, thoughts, imagination, sweet dreams, like you've never imagined before. It's a good omen for business plans, personal resolutions, life ambitions. Just to have the courage to dream, dream very big. And lastly, let's get an angel. Dorian Virtue's angel card. The dream big confirms the fool. Dreaming, you've got to have faith to dream. Remember, life does get tougher, but we get smarter together. And if we try a little bit harder every day, it does get better. You are the light at the end of my tunnel because you hit the little bell for more notifications. When you subscribe, I really appreciate all your likes, your shares, and subscribes too. One angel for you, please. Not the whole. Okay, we'll take Mystique. Mystique, beautiful horse. A black stallion. Keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer. Expect miraculous situations and solutions to appear. Amen. Thank you for joining me on my, this Lionese Tire Tracks pool. Peace. Shalom. Salam alaikum. Akasnifia. Ichlibidich. Sia bonga. Riala bonga. Ngia bonga. Salagakle. Hambagakle. Choose to sense. Mm -hmm.